Sarvadaman Patel from Anand Gujarat and I started my farming in, way back in 1975. I graduated from uh, UP Agriculture University, Pant Nagar Nainidal, which is now known as Govindwala Pant University. Then I proceeded to do my master's in agronomy in University of Wisconsin. But my urge was to go into farming. So I worked for 18 months in America. I, my sister was there, so I received a green card in two months. But there was always something that I wanted to go back and do my, my own self. I had offered a very good job in America. I had done well for the American farmer. And he said, why don't you stay? I'll give partnership. I thought in my mind, if I can do for him, why can't I do for myself? And that made me come back to India. Um, I won't say it was love of the land, but it was something that my inner was telling me, let's go back and do something at home. So we, did, we didn't have much land. Um, for two years I went to Rajasthan, lost heavily my father's money. And then my father, a UN official, working in West Africa, he retired and came back and he said, this is not the place for a master's in Wisconsin to do in, in Lee's land. And so he bought this 32 acres of land for me. That was a new beginning in 1977. Gujarat by itself is very prosperous and we are hard working. Our district, which was Kheda and now it is Anand, is very progressive. And uh, a lot of farmers have innovative ideas. They come out with a lot of things. They are also called the Sadas of Punjab. So the beginning was good. People knew us, they knew my father, my grandfather. And so it became very easy in the Anchor University, in the veterinary college or any other place. So the very first year we made some good money, about 70,000 rupees from agriculture. And slowly it progressed. In course of three, four years, I became a tree planter. I planted trees from 1982 to way into 2006, about 8 lakh trees around Gujarat, or mainly for Gujarat Electricity Board and many other small, um, not only small farmers, but also large farmers and corporates. Now, one of my major work initially with planting of trees was to work in saline soils, alkaline soils, sewage water, and also fly ash uh, of the Gujarat Electricity Boards. Then, I increased this 32 acres into another 8 acres in course of time as I earned my money. But my interest was also dairy because my minor subject in Wisconsin was dairy farming, dairy science. So I started with about 20 animals and as of today I've got about 85 animals. We produce about 300 to 350 liters of milk and we give home delivery to about 85 customers from door to door for the last 25 years. Now I feel the kind of organic milk and what I'm producing at the moment, uh, I'll go back saying that from 77 till 2000, I did chemical farming or conventional farming. And the last five years, let's say from 95 to 2000, I've, I was finding a lot of uh, the yields going down, higher rates of uh, fertilizer, urea and sulfates and DAP and moveta potash, um, higher doses of pesticides and uh, two, two incidents which made me think deeply into myself to why I should ch why not I should change to something better than what I was doing and I felt the organic was the alternative to go about it.
and uh, what do you think government should do if uh, india has to become like this you see uh, there was uh, in two years back there was uh, the ddo had come the collector had requested me we are setting up in every taluka five organic farms and can you help us and to set up this thing and i had offered my services but they didn't revert back to me so what they really need to do is to locate such farms organic farm in a district or in a taluka and to, and to let the farmers who really want to change or who, who or to show the farmers that they, there is a way because my productivity is as good as any chemical farm or even better in many crops so and if you're not spraying like i am not spraying anything if i'm not spraying they're saving a lot of money and time so this can be really promoted in a taluka and a district Uh, it has to come from the really from the agriculture department and also the the head of the taluka or the district the collector or the ddo and uh, they want to do it but i'm probably they just to be the on many other th- patterns and they're not been able to do all this. but they have a special gujarat have a scheme or something like that they are promoting trying to promote the organic farming but they haven't not made any way forward and in terms of policies uh, what do you think uh, which will help farmers i think one of the major thing if they are the government of india or, or any other government giving subsidies to fertilizers and other things they should give the same kind of fertility uh, subsidies to organic organic manures and uh, cakes and and uh, rock phosphate or bone meal if that is given to the farmer there will be a lot of big conversion a uh, lot of uh in the municipalities and all that and vegetable market the things are being disposed not being into composting just deposed in some some odd place if that can be regularized and all that many people will turn into organic and we, the need is uh, the general saying is how many will come to organic farm and do we have enough organic matter let's forget all that let's start with something let's stop wasting the organic matter which is lying all over and let's start using it and when that problems come no organic matter will think again what we have to do but as of off we need the support from the government to give subsidies and see that that the organic farmer is also not um, uh, he's not in a uh, in a kind of thing that he is not getting the subsidy and others are getting it